Hello, today we're talking to the new editor of the journal Chemical Physics and the Edward J. Kahn Distinguished Professor in uh, the Department of Chemistry at the University of Pennsylvania, Marcia I. Lester. Thank you for joining us today. Congratulations on your recent appointment as editor. Thank you. So first of all, how did you become involved with JCP? Well, like most people in the community, I started as a graduate student, first as an author, later as an assistant professor, I moved and became a reviewer as well as an author, and more recently I uh, became a member of the editorial board, and last summer, uh, upon selection uh, to become the next editor, I thought it would be a good idea to spend a few months in the trenches, so for the last six months I've been acting as an associate editor learning the ropes of the Journal of Chemical Physics. Very good. As the new editor, what sort of changes can we expect for the coming year in the Journal of Chemical Physics? Well, I think the first thing to reassure everyone is that uh, we're going to continue and maintain the strengths of the journal as it's known today. And most importantly there, it's really known as a journal that publishes significant uh, bodies of work in the field of chemical physics and in both methods and applications and have uh, so that's first and foremost that we will be what we what we've always been but then we also need to change and the change will involve uh, change in subject area coverage particular to expand into new and emerging areas um, often in interdisciplinary areas and lastly, um, I think everyone will see that there's a tremendous number of technological changes in the, and changes in the scientific publishing field that um, the American Institute of Physics is helping us implement. Very good. You mentioned the journal's history. Uh, what has the journal been known for most notably throughout? Okay, so the Journal of Chemical Phys Physics sits at the interface between chemistry and physics. and. What's remarkable about um, JCP, and one of the reasons why I was so excited to become involved um, as an editor, is uh, that it is, at this moment, the most highly cited journal in the fields of atomic, molecular, and chemical physics. And of course, we want to maintain that tradition as we go forward, um, and we want to build on this legacy of success. What, uh, what kind of changes, though, are, are, uh, are needed or are going to happen at the journal moving forward? Okay, so as I've already mentioned, one of the critical things is to, uh, is to recognize that the field of chemical physics is evolving into lots of new and exciting areas. And uh, what we want to do with the journal is to be able to capture some of the very best work that's coming out and some of the first uh, work that's coming out in, in various, in new and emerging fields. In order to do that, we have to engage the young authors, so people that are just starting out in their careers. Uh, we need to, of course, broaden our subject area coverage, and we have to be cognizant of the fact that there's stiff competition in the publishing world um, in chemical physics, physical chemistry, molecular physics, and uh, we want to reestablish ourselves as uh, the preeminent journal in the field. Excellent. And then in more logistical terms, there are other changes coming to the journal, correct? Oh, absolutely. There are huge changes going on, and some stem from the publishing world. So let's start by um, talking that every author should be noticing that there is a brand new uh, uh, manuscript submission and peer review process. It's called Peer Express, and we have a new website, and um, it, it changes everything about uh, the uh, communication between the journal and authors and reviewers. And we're very excited about these upgrades. It's an it's a, um, important modernization of, um, of the Journal of Chemical Physics. And then there are other big changes going on, and that is uh, associated with, with myself becoming the new editor. Um, the main office of the Journal of Chemical Physics will now be located at the University of Pennsylvania, and all of those details are available on the web. And then um, another important change is that we are expanding the number of associate editors. Currently there are eight associate editors plus myself as editor-in-chief and with time going forward we'll be adding additional associate editors in particular uh, to allow us to expand uh, subject area coverage of the journal. That's excellent, that sounds great.
Is there anything else you'd like to, to say to the community? Well, um, it's important to realize that the journal is a dynamic entity, and we definitely need community input. Uh, we need it both in uh, authors submitting their very best work to the journal. We rely, of course, on reviewers, uh, making sure that only the very best work is published. And I think that the Journal of Chemical Physics, uh, while it's been around for a long time, there's many people that have published in it throughout their whole careers, and we want you to stay with us. Um, there are people who haven't published in the Journal of Chemical Physics for some time. We want to welcome you back. We especially want to welcome first-time authors to the journal, and um, most importantly, I want to ask the community to be engaged and help as we try to reinvigorate the Journal of Chemical Physics going forward. Excellent. Well, thank you for speaking with us today, and once again, congratulations on becoming the new editor of the Journal of Chemical Physics. Thanks. Look forward to it. <laughs>